Hello everyone, good morning, welcome to the vlog. Today we are going to be running many, many, many errands because I have a lot of stuff to do and I haven't been doing any of them. So I'm home, I'm back from Hawaii. It was really, really nice and I think I'm gonna try to get a video up about that. Hopefully it'll be before this, might be after this, so I don't know. I just woke up, did my makeup and now we can go on and we're going to do what I do every day. So we're gonna go downstairs, eat some food and hang out with fish. So let's go get fishy. Time to see fish mouth. Fishy, hello. Fish Mao, it's time for lunch. Fish Mao! Wow, what am I holding? What is this delicious food in my hand? What is this delicious food? You've been tricked, hee hee. Hello, fish. So we're gonna be eating lunch with Fish Mao like I do every day. He always tries to get in my bowl, as you can see, and I always gotta Make sure he doesn't, but he's usually awake for me and ready. Never in frame though somehow. And I just give him a little piece of what I'm eating if he's able to eat it. I'm eating like really unseasoned food. So it's okay for him to have some carrots from it. But we're just gonna be eating together, chilling, having a relaxing morning, watching him do his thing, you know? He likes to sit there and sometimes he stares like this. He just eats. Hello fish. Good morning, fish. It's lunchtime with fish mouth. Lunchtime with fish mouth. Why are you never in frame? OMG. <laughs> oh. No, don't leave, please. Now that I have eaten some today, we are going to pack some Etsy orders. I've been getting a lot of Etsy orders lately, mostly from these sticker packs I've been making, but I'm actually out of the Gamer Girl stickers, so I'm going to have to make new packs of those. I have the stickers, I just don't have them packaged the way I like to, so I'm grabbing them out of my giant bin of stickers. And these are the ones on Etsy, so if you're interested in seeing them, they're right there. But I packaged these all myself. I have some little cellophane, like, sleeve things and then i gotta get the stickers out as well and it's really simple it's just like a thing i gotta do you know so this is how i like to do it and if i could i'd do it many different ways but right now with the materials that i have this is how i do it i'm getting the stickers out and i pretty much just lay out one of each sticker this sticker pack comes with two stickers so it's really easy to package i just you know put them out into each section to make sure that i have enough and i'm making these little sets right now and I'm going to put two stickers in each little pile. And before we continue, we're gonna mention today's sponsor, Julia Jewelry. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video and guys, go check them out. I have their stuff linked below if you wanna go see it. There's also a coupon code, but I've been wearing these rings a lot and I think they're super cute. So definitely go check those out if you get a chance and I'm wearing them right now in this video, but let's keep going with what we're doing. So I'm gonna put them in these little sleeves and basically these are just like little plastic pouches that I can seal later, like real stickers, which is really, really cool. And so I'm just gonna be putting all of these in there and then you just seal them up. And this is honestly one of the most like tedious parts of doing this because you know, you have a lot of like tiny little plastic strips flying around and you gotta make sure everything is perfect. But once I usually figure out a system of how I wanna get things packaged, it's pretty simple after that because I just do the same thing over and over again. So in this case, I'm just peeling off little plastic sheets and then I'm folding things over, over and over again. And that's how I'm packaging them right now. So after I have this done, I'm going to start putting some tape over them. As you can see, I have like a bajillion more to do, but I like to tape the top with washi tape. I want to be able to print out some little labels for this in the future, but as of right now, I don't really have the funds to be doing that. So I'm just using some washi tape to make it look nice and to keep everything together. And I'm using this cute polka dot one. And I also use some cute polka dot like regular tape. I just wanted to like do some different designs cause it's fun and why not? I don't have to do like the same thing over and over again. So I'm doing these for the tops just to make it look a bit nicer. And I have to go through and do this for all of them. So I just measure it out, cut it, fold it how I need it to be. And that's pretty much it. It's honestly really, really simple. So definitely would recommend. Now I'm going to be pre-labeling some 
of these little packet thingies, the little bubble mailers that I have. Obviously I have to put my return address on all of them, so that's the first thing I have to write. I'm just writing all these in the corner. I also have little envelopes that I use for if I'm mailing out stickers, so I gotta write my return address on those as well. I'm just doing the same thing, you know, just writing the same return address on all of these things. And I'm also going to be writing some of these thank you notes that I usually have on hand. I usually pre-write these way ahead of when I'm going to be shipping things out, but today I just have to run out especially when i had a huge bunch of orders to send out so that's a bit tedious but i'm gonna be handwriting all of these for you guys and i think the sanrio paper is so cute so if you guys get this um enjoy god i am so tired i've been doing etsy packaging stuff for like an hour and a half now i just finished writing all of these this doesn't normally take me that long because i normally have these pre-written already but today i happen to run out you know we have a couple these are on like some cute molang paper and then i have some sanrio paper that i actually recently ran out so if you get one of these that's the last one of that and i also got these new thank you stickers in the mail i designed these and got them manufactured obviously i did not like make them make them but i drew these and they're on this beautiful holographic sticker and i just think they're like literally so pretty so i'm really excited to be giving these out so if you do purchase anything from my etsy you'll be getting that time to package some things so to order stickers i just send them in an envelope so that's pretty self-explanatory so you get one of these whatever sticker you ordered this and a thank you sticker and then i put this all in the envelope i mail it out and this one goes to carla and if you order anything else it goes in a bubble mailer and i mail them out that way so time to package everything and if you order something really big like a really big purchase i like to do them in these boxes and then you also get a custom message from me i like to write them on these gudetama papers but i also have like different types of stationery that i've been using but yeah time to package everything so i finally got all the orders sorted out okay time to package things have this i love doing stickers because you can just put them in an envelope and it's like really satisfying this this guy i like to give away some stickers in general so i have like a box of miscellaneous stickers here so we're just gonna slip one of those in there and do that and then we're gonna seal it with some cute tape Here is another sticker order. We have some flower cat stickers, a little note, a thank you sticker. These are literally so cute. A little bear sticker. Peel that off and tape it. And then also, this is like really exciting. We got a huge sticker order from Renee. So thank you so much, Renee. Renee ordered three of these puppy and fish stickers and two of the flower cat stickers. So. I am so thankful for that. So I think this was a pretty big order, especially of stickers. No one ever orders this many stickers from me. So thank you so much. That is so sweet. I'm going to pop one of these in here. A thank you sticker. And then we're gonna do like a couple of these little sticker flakes just in there. I'm gonna seal it up. Oh my gosh, so fat. The stickiness on these envelopes are like subpar at best. So. Yay! I think those are all our envelope orders for now, so we're gonna move on to our packages. So, this one's for Elizabeth. We have these, and so how I like to package these is I have these organza baggies. I put some of the stuff in there, and then this little peach guy who's been really popular on my Etsy lately goes in there. Oop. I'm gonna zip it up. I've been debating on whether I want to put these thank you stickers in here or not, but I haven't been because I don't want them to get lost. We're going to go ahead and open this guy up. Slip everything inside. Of course, a thank you note. One of these guys. And a couple of those guys. Seal it up. This order's for Hannah. She ordered these strawberry baby earrings, which you can't really see because I have them all packed up, but you can see them on my Etsy. I have this paper. This guy goes in there. Oop. Thank you sticker. Close it up. These guys are for Claudia. So she ordered one of my sugar cookie charms and one of these guys again. Put some extra paper in this guy just because there's a couple things in here. Put them down. A note. And a thank you sticker. And some sticker flakes. Ooh. 
This package is for Juliana and she ordered one of these super cute little resin charms that I made. And so I actually have some of these little baggies for orders that have less items so they don't get jostled around in like a really big bag. Thank you note and thank you sticker. So I'm just gonna have to hold the camera because this box is kind of big, but now we have one of these larger boxes. So thank you so much Rose for this big order. I'll be writing you a custom letter as well, but she ordered these guys, which are Valentine's day cookie sets. So I'm gonna put that in there. She also ordered some peach baby earrings, two sets of stickers. So we have the Gamer Girl stickers and then we also have the Flower Cat stickers. And we also have a peach baby. So we're gonna put this in a little baggie so he doesn't get lost. Sorry, there's an airplane flying overhead if you can hear that. Two stickers, a note. And like I said, I'm gonna be writing a custom letter. So I'm going to be writing on this Gudetama paper, which is so pretty. I don't actually remember where I got this, but I wish I did, because I think I'm running low and I would like another set. It also comes with these little Gudetama envelopes, which are so cute. I hope people don't just throw these away, but if they do, I understand. I sometimes throw away certain letters from Etsy orders, so people do that, I understand. But these are like custom ones. As you can see, they're like gold embossed, which is so beautiful. And this is a cute little envelope. Look how cute. And then I also happen to have this set of Gudetama stickers. And these are like my personal stickers. So I like to use these to seal the envelope for these cute custom notes. So I'm going to go ahead and write one up for Rose and I will be right back. So now it is written. It's really pretty. I have to wait for the ink to dry so I don't smear it when I put it in this cute little envelope, but I'm really excited. I love packing these large boxes just cause I think they're really fun. So anyone who does a super big order on my Etsy, thank you. I think that is dry. I'm gonna slip it in here and I'm gonna go ahead and put the thank you sticker in here as well since it's in a really big box. So, oh, I actually ran out of the ones on the table. So I have to pull out a whole new stack. I'm gonna put it in front so she sees it. A bunch of sticker flakes are gonna go in there. So yay! Now we're gonna close it up and I need to seal it with a Gudetama sticker. So which one are we gonna pick? As you can see, I've used some of them already. Oh, these are dessert ones. That's really cute. So we're gonna use him. Little Gudetama sticker on a Gudetama envelope. Literally how cute is that? Oh my God. So we're gonna put this on top. And then we're gonna fill the top up with some more paper because there's some empty space. You don't want things like jostling around. And then we're gonna seal this box up with some tape and it'll be good to go. So I actually got a order for prints, which doesn't happen often actually. I have these Welsh Shark prints currently online and there's like 18 different ones or something in here, maybe even more, I don't really remember. But they're really cute. And if you wanna check them out, they're on my Etsy. But I have special envelopes to send these out because they actually almost, but don't fit in these. And it's really infuriating. I am going to put this guy in here, you know? like I do, but this envelope is really large and like roomy. So I don't like throwing things in there because I feel like people won't find them. So I'm going to take one of my thank you notes and fold it in half. Oop. And I'm gonna put it in this little envelope guy that I have here. That's really, really cute. So that way everything will come out in an envelope and they don't have to dig in there for stuff, you know, cause that would kind of suck. I'm gonna put the thank you sticker in here as well. And then I'm gonna put the sticker flakes in here as well. So that way they can have an enjoyable opening experience. So thank you to Marin, Marin for the print order. I really appreciate it. And we're gonna seal this guy up with just a little bit of washi tape so things don't fly out like that. How cute, OMG. So we're gonna put this guy in here and seal it up. And I actually didn't even buy these envelopes in bulk because I never get print orders. So I only have like 10 of these. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I'm back in my room for, you know, whatever reason that I'm always in my room. But first of all, okay, I want to show you this because I've been looking at these all day and no one knows what I'm talking about because my phone is facing the other way when I film. But look, look at what I'm looking at when I film from this specific angle. But these are my sunny angels and they're so cute. And I know they're really weird, but I really think they're cute. And they're like collectible blind box things. You can look them up. But I got these three, these purple ones in San Francisco. I got this one in Paris and I got this one. My boyfriend got me this one and I love them so much. And they're so cute. And I made a TikTok on them. But yeah, every time I sit here specifically filming, that's what I'm looking at. So yeah, really fun. It got really gloomy outside for some reason, which is really annoying. Also, this video, this animation that will be up before this video even goes up has, sorry, also my fan is going off. If I log into my laptop, this has 
has been sharing. It's been saving onto my laptop for over like two days now and it's at 65% and it's so irritating because I really want to upload it. And also I don't want my computer on 24 seven, but it's been on for 48 hours. And I guess my animation is really hard for Final Cut to save but it's really frustrating because I would really like it to be done soon, please, but it's not. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get ready to go out because we're gonna go to Target really quick. I love Target, but there's like many things left for me to do. Like I need to clean my room. My room is atrocious right now. Um, I need to go to the mail room. I need to go to Target. I need to buy new lashes. I need to do so many things. So yeah, I don't know why it got so dark, but we need to go mail out all those packages that I just did. I started getting ready to take pictures because I got these guys in the mail and they're so cute. Do you see the stars? Do you see the stars? These are my new flower keychains that I'll be selling on Etsy. Um, so I started getting ready to take pictures, but I don't like my background. And I used to have tissue paper in the background for these when I used to take pictures of them, but I don't know where it went. So I have to go Target anyway, so I might as well I'll just check when I'm there. That's what I'm planning to do. I'm also planning to get new cages for the hammies because they've been in small cages for quite a while and I want to get them bigger ones, especially because also we have turtles. If you guys remember, if you guys are OG fans, when I first moved into RISD, we bought baby turtles and they're still doing well, but they need a bigger cage. Look at their cage right now. It is not normally this, I swear. They've been living in a little glass aquarium, but my mom changes their water all the time, like every other day, and she gets really tired lifting this glass aquarium, obviously, because it's made of glass. So when we went to Hawaii, some other people took care of them and we gave them this little container. And now that we're back, we want to switch them into a better container and I want to give them the little homes that the hammies are in right now so that they can have a bigger cage and then those two cages can go to the two turtles if that makes sense because we also need to separate them but yeah that's that's what we're doing also maybe I should turn on their little lamp but they're doing okay here they are the two of them in a very unfortunate home I'm gonna get you guys new cages woo so I think I just left my wallet upstairs but let's go get new cages for the hammies oh my god my wallet's in my pocket already so we can just go there's no need for me to come upstairs I love this, but yeah, let's go. Let's go to Target first. And then once I get tissue paper, we can also do an Etsy update. So that's super fun because I'm really excited. And I also have stickers that I actually made into little sticker packs the other day. They look like this. They're so cute. See? It's like the same thing, but stickers. So yeah, let's go to Tajay. I was gonna say goodbye to the hammies, but I don't see them at all. Uh, but they got leaves today, the little grassies. Oh, fish is in there. Good morning, fish. I'm gonna get you a new cage. Are you excited? Oh, he's licking me. Oh, he's very excited. All right, man, I'll be right back. Finally leaving my house. Wow. There's actually so many things I didn't realize that I need because I also need to get bedding for the hammies because they're running out. So we have a lot of stuff to do. Stop falling from your eyes. Okay, so there was some sort of like car accident situation thing outside my house. So it took me so long to get to Target, but we are now here finding parking. You're not actually supposed to cut through parking lots, but sometimes I do it anyway. Please don't snitch on me. But we are here now at Target. I'm so excited to be able to get the hammies new cages. I've been wanting to. It's just because I am constantly not home because of school. Um, I know, oh my God, I forgot to put my car in park. Very much puppy needs a new cage because she gets stressed out way too easily. So it's really good to be able to do that. Let's go get them new cages. And then after Target, we also have to run to the post office because all of my hair just got big time caught in that. Ugh. We have to go mail out those packages as well. But I'm just so happy. All the little animals in my house are gonna be very comfortable after today. So I'm gonna feel very pleased about it. But let's go inside. I know I don't need a mask because I'm vaccinated, but I still wanna keep other people safe. So wear your masks, please. But let's go. Also look at this cute little Pusheen guy. It's a sloth and it's on my keys and I love it. Oh, I park so close to this person. Do you see this? It's okay. I'll just be in and out really fast. I'm so sorry at this other person. Ugh, just squeezed out of my car. We are now in Target. Look how fluffy my hair looks. Oh my God. Currently looking for my items. We are encroaching on the bins, the bin section. We have arrived. So what size bin is best for the hammies? Like I'm thinking of getting like maybe that one, but it's only a little bit bigger. Let's take a look, see. This section is not very helpful because honestly, most of these bins are like around the same size that the hammies have and there's really no in between. <sighs> so what do I do? 
The only other option is if I get like this enormous one, which I, I would love to, but I don't think we simply have space for that in my house. What do I do? Do I go to another Target just for this? This is the bin that I think they had, and this is the one I'm thinking about. And I think the floor space for this one is slightly bigger, but I don't know if it's really worth it. I think after much debating, I'm gonna go check Walmart and see what their bin situation is like. So I wanna provide the best bins for my hammies. I think we'll go head to Walmart and look, but I still need to get that tissue paper I need here for my Etsy photos. Whoa, Target trip. Wow, just kidding. They're out of like everything. I guess I'll simply have to buy everything from Walmart. Target literally let me down today so hard and I'm so sad about that, but maybe Walmart will pick up the slack somehow and fix this whole situation, I hope, that we will see. I'm so sad because I feel like I normally find everything I need at Target, but I guess not today. So hopefully Walmart doesn't let me down, but you know, onwards and upwards, woo. I'm thinking about literally going to like the container store, but I feel like that's too extreme and it's kind of far from here. So I don't really want to do that. But I can stop by the post office on the way to Walmart. So that's good. Woo, let's go to Walmart, I guess. Okay, so we are now arriving at Walmart in search of the, ooh, in search of the Hemi's new home. Woo, I really hope they have what I'm looking for, but I have a feeling they probably don't. You know, sometimes Walmart like comes in clutch with everything. So we're looking for bins and tissue paper. Okay, so now I am now in Walmart and I actually have no idea where the bins are, so I'm searching desperately for them. I'm trying to think where it would make the most sense for them to be, but I actually can't think of a single place in this Walmart where it would make sense. So yeah, I guess I'll have to run around and try to find them. So I found the bins. They definitely have big ones, but literally none of them are clear. Like this one is literally the size that I want. This is like a perfect size, if only it was clear, but it's not. I feel like it feels like a hamster jail cell if I get them a silver one. Okay, Walmart is letting me down as well, which is so irritating, but we're gonna try Michael's Craft Store because I looked online, apparently they might have it, and I have to go that direction anyway for more hamster bedding, so I guess we'll find out there. I'm just hoping that they have it because I literally don't know. All right, so far two stores have been a fail. You know, I don't actually know what on earth made me think that Michael's would have giant storage bins because I noticed Michael's inside and out. And as soon as I walked in here and like remembered, I know damn well there are no storage bins here the size of hammies. <sighs> Where do I go now? I'm like running out of stores. <laughs> Why am I so tempted to buy slime, bro? It's just the colors are a bit too beautiful for me. Bro, oh my God. I just drove all the way to Walmart, like 30 minutes away from my house because they didn't have the bin. So I went on this huge adventure. Also the PetSmart I went to didn't have the bedding for my hamsters that they like. So I had to go somewhere else for that too. So I've just been like running all over the place today, but I'm finally home. I got their big cages set up and they're literally so big. I'm like amazed at how big they are. And I'm so happy because I think they really love it. I'm currently in my room trying to find some like little items to put in their room, like hiding or stuff, because I like to give them like cardboard boxes and stuff to do their little thing in, but fish chews through them really fast and then puppy gets overly attached and starts hoarding things in there and then it gets really like unsanitary. So I have to clean it out every once in a while and then I just gotta throw the whole thing away. I have like a bunch of things in my room. I took some remit boxes already and I don't know what else I got for them, but I'm looking for some items. But yeah, I'll go show you guys what it looks like right now because it looks really really cute and i'm really happy yeah let's go let's go see the hammies in their new big cage now Woo! omg new cages oh <gasps> puppy hello hello mouse hello mouse good morning omg you look so slinky oh, oh. no how many screeches this is her peach new peach in her huge home i need to wash her wheel okay now it is clean here you go Ooh, clean wheel for the little mouse hello mouse men mtv cribs welcome to my house oh puppy is showing us this is in the new cage. 
is so big and here's fishes i don't know where he went though sometimes he's in here but he's not there he's not in either of these is he in here oh oh man hello fish are you upside down fishy puppy still doing something strange <laughs> Would you like to come outside? Ooh. Zoop. Penny. <laughs> Would you like a corn? She's gonna go upstairs with me. Let's go upstairs, Mr. Man. You can come close the vlog out with me. We can do it together. Look at him. Why are you holding your little foot? Oh. Okay. Yeah. I simply cannot today. I'm so exhausted now and today's been a very very long day i kind of did like a lot a lot of stuff and it's still light out so i still have more things i can do but i'm probably gonna go edit hang out with fishy man i gave them new homes today i hope you like it because they're so big it's so big for your big body because you're so fat omg fishy everyone really loved fish in the last video he's back here again he's back at it doing his thing I'm really exhausted now and I can't even like remember how to vlog now because I'm so tired. So I'm going to go and edit and we will see you guys <laughs> in the next video. Um, if you guys like fish, definitely subscribe for more fish because he will he will be back very, very soon. He'll probably be in the next vlog, right? Would you like to be in the next vlog? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time with Fish Guy. Follow the hammies on Instagram if you want to. Follow me on Instagram if you want to. Okay, so I need both hands for this. So you can either stay in my hand like this or you can get down. Which one do you want? All right, you seem pretty content. Okay, so <laughs> stay hydrated, take a nap and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Thank you so much for watching and yeah. Bye everyone. Say goodbye, Fish. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for hanging out with me today.